Speaking mathematically, is there a real number whose square is negative 1? A. Is there a real number? Your answer is, is there a real number X such that such that question mark such that x squared is equal to negative one that is your answer such that x squared is equal to negative one okay next letter b does there exist okay so does there exist A real number x okay, or x okay, such that such that x squared equals to negative one. Okay, question mark. That is your answer. Does there exist a real number x such that x squared equals to negative? Number three, let's answer add numbers. Okay, number three, given any two real number real numbers there is There is a real number in between, in between, okay? <clears throat> okay, so for number three, given any two real numbers, there is a real number in between. So, for example, so let's answer the letter. The letter A, given any two real numbers, given any two real numbers, numbers A and B, there is a real number C such that such that C is blank. So C great uh, greater than A and less than B. Okay, so answer it. C is greater. Your answer will be C is greater than A but less than less than B. Okay? So that is your answer. Okay. okay? So given any two real number A and B, there is a real number C such that C is greater than A but less than B. So meaning, nasa gitna na po siya. So in between for A and B. Okay? And letter B, okay? For any two real numbers, real numbers A and B, B, ayan. Yan siya. Tama. 
There is, yan, sabihin natin, there is a real number C. Ayan C. Such that, such that A is less than C and C is less than B. Ayan na po. Yan po, letter T. Okay? So next is number, okay? So for number 5, the reciprocal of any positive real number is positive. Okay? So for letter A, given any positive real number R, the reciprocal of R is positive. This is your answer. R is positive. Okay? Next for letter B, for any real number R, if R is positive, then 1 over R, or meaning reciprocal of R, is positive. This is your answer. 1 over R, or reciprocal of R, is the same. Okay? So take note, class, take note. 1 over R is also equal to reciprocal of R. Okay? So 1 over R is simply equal to the statement reciprocal of R. Okay? So your answer is 1 over R is positive. Then for letter C, if the real number R is positive, then your answer is 1 over R is positive or reciprocal of R is positive. Okay? The next is number 7. Okay? So for number 7, rewrite the following statements less formally without using variables. Okay? So for letter A, there are real numbers U and B with the property that U plus B is less than U minus B. Okay? So let's rewrite that in a statement that without using variables. Okay? So your answer is, just copy the statement, okay? So there are real numbers, real numbers, real numbers, U and B with the property, with the property that The sum of U and V is less than less than the difference the difference of U and V. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, next for letter B. Okay, so let's answer letter B. Okay, so for letter B, there is a real number X such that X squared is less than X. So that will be your answer. So let's copy. There is a real number, okay, real number X such that X squared X square, right there, X square is less than, less than X. So this will be your answer. Okay. Now for letter C, for all, just copy, for all positive integers n. Okay, integers n, comma, n squared, okay, so n squared is greater than or equal, this sign is greater than or equal, greater than or equal, 
okay or equal n okay so your answer is for all positive integers n n squared is greater than or equal n okay so that will be your answer then letter d let's answer letter d. okay so for letter d okay okay so for letter d for all real numbers a and b the absolute value of the sum of a and b is less than or equal the sum of the absolute values of a and b that will be your answer okay so let's rewrite for all real numbers okay numbers a and b and b comma the absolute okay so the absolute the sign the dog parallel line vertical parallel line will be means absolute value absolute value okay that is the meaning of this symbol okay so the absolute value of the absolute value of the sum of a and b is the symbol is less than or equal the sum okay so the sum of the absolute values of of the absolute absolute values of a and b okay so this will be your answer okay okay so i hope you understand the discussion for this video God bless. And so don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel, Share Lloyd Classroom. Okay? So bye bye and bye bye for now.